If you don't have access to software such as MS Project or Primavera and want to create a functional and dynamic Gantt chart using Microsoft Excel, I will show you the method and the step-by-step -step process to obtain such Gantt charts using Microsoft Excel. In order to understand what do I mean by functional and dynamic Gantt charts, let's update the percentages completed of each activity here. For example, let's decrease this percentage to 50%. In the meantime, look at this diagram. I'll decrease this to 50%. And maybe let's decrease this to 75%. Increase this to 25%. And so on. Besides that, if you change the actual start date of activities, for example, in activity number 2, which is the concept design, let's change the start date for 14th May 2022 to another date. For example, let's make it 10th May, 5-10-2022. In the meantime, let's change the end date to 20th May, 5-20-2022. 20, As you can see, the GAN charts are automatically moving, besides that, the percentage completed, for example, let's make it 50%. The changes by updating that specific value also appears on the Gantt chart. Let me take you through the step-by-step -step process of creating such diagrams. For haste in our work and in order to create the Gantt chart, I copied this information from sheet number one, which is the functional Gantt chart. On the right here, I have created another table for which we will take the data from this table. As you can see, the, this column is actual start date. We will equal this cell to our actual start date. Press enter. Besides that, we will drag it down up to the last cell. Actual duration equals to actual duration from this cell. We'll drag it down up to here. Moreover, Actual duration completed. What do we mean by actual duration completed? It is the percentage completed times the total duration of each activity. For this one, we will write down a formula which equals to this cell multiplied by this cell. We will apply the same for other cells as well. The plant start date is the date given in this cell. For the upcoming activities, I will drag it down. Moreover, the plan duration is given in here. I'll drag it down here, and there you go. Let me correct these borders here. So, once this is done, I will leave the y-axis for now. Once we come to that point, we will create the values for y-axis and I will tell you what does it mean. First, in order to create our functional and dynamic Gantt chart, we will use the information in the activity name, which will be given on the axis names, the actual start date and the actual duration. In order for the Excel to plot these values in the bar charts, we will convert them to general from date. We will select the first three, which are the activity name, actual start date, and actual duration. Go to insert, go to bars, select the second one in stack bars. These are the numbers given by the dates. Now we can go back and change these values back to dates. Moreover, Let's format this a little bit, increase its size. We'll format the color of these ones. We'll go to format, the shape fill will be no fill. As you can see, our first activity, which is the preliminary survey, has gone to the bottom. In order to bring it to the top, we will right click on this axis format access and categories in reverse order. Close this. 
let's delete this lines and delete the series names now as this is done this shows our actual situation of the project this is the actual Gantt chart of the activities now let's add to it the percentages completed the main reason that we have added a column called actual duration completed here is so that we can show the percentage completed on these Gantt chart bars in order to do that let's click on the bars that we disappeared we will show our percentage completed using the error bars in different versions of Microsoft Excel the error bars could be added by different methods but the version that I own you go to the layout and click on the error bars select the error bars with standard error once this is done click on the error bars then right click format error bars go to the plus and let's specify the value from custom this value for the plus will be the actual duration completed once you did that press OK and OK now the error bars are shown as lines let's format them a little bit so that they can be shown as the bar charts here with a different color right click on them go to format error bars go to line color solid line will create a, we will select a color for that let's select the dark blue in the line style let's increase this one until it matches the width of the other bars on here the red ones let's go up to 8 maybe 9 okay this will do it in addition we will remove the caps from our error bars let's close this it's done now let's update these percentages for example let's make it zero and let's make this percentage for example 75 I have changed these colors to white so they might not appear to you or maybe let's uh, decrease this to 50 percent so they work moreover as you can see this bar starts way far from the activity name in order to take it close to here we should change the minimum values on this axis if you right click go to format axis we have to change the minimum value as you can see in here we have dates but the minimum value in here is shown in terms of numbers so how do we interpret this and change this to date close this in this cell here write down the date you want these bar charts to start from the date in here for example I want them to start from 1st May 2022 I'll write down the date here 5-1-2022 now in order to convert it to number click on this one go to here and change it to general the number is 44682 so right click in here go to format access let's change this number to 682 close this as you can see it's getting closer to there I will delete this in addition to this on this Gantt chart we have the plant values in here as well how do you create the plant values in order to create the plant values we should fix a position for these values for example if it starts from 0 then it will come 1 2 3 4 5 so we will locate the bars for the plant values on the y-axis here that's why I put the numbers for the y-axis here 0 0.1 1.1 1 .1, 2.1 how do we do that we will start from the bottom one because the testing and commissioning is on the bottom and the zero starts from here we'll place this at 0 0.1 
and we will place this value at 1.1. To do that, we'll write down a formula equal sign 1 plus the value in this cell. Now we will drag it to the top up here. We will plot this on our Gantt chart. To do that, right click here, select data, add We'll add the values from here, OK, and OK. The values on our Gantt chart are added as stacked columns, but we will convert them to scatter diagrams. Right click on this, change series chart type, we'll click scatter diagram from down here. They disappear. In order to get them back, right click on this area because we haven't selected a x axis for them. So we'll go to select data, we'll click on this series that we recently added, edit, we'll add an x axis for that. The x axis for this will be the plan dates or the plan start dates. Click OK, and we will click OK. OK, here as well. In order to change these two bars, we'll click on them, go to Layout, we will add error bars. The same method that we did for the previous one. And these error bars, we will delete the vertical ones. Moreover, right click, Format the Error Bars, we'll select only plus, no cap, we'll select a custom value. Our custom value for this will be our plan duration here. Click OK, OK, and close. So as you can see, these are added. Let's further format this in order to change these two bars. Right click, Format Error Bars, the same method, Line Color, will create a solid line, will create, will choose a color for that, for example, we will choose this orange color, moreover the line style you will make it a bit bolder. Close. Now if you want to update, for example, let's update this to 80%, the percentages will be updated. Or if you want to change the plan start dates, for example, let's change it to 2nd May or maybe 3rd May. Let's make it 7th May our plan values will change as well, okay. along with the actual values. I hope the contents of the video were informative. If you like them, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.